Okay, here I'm going to go over how to connect two or more neon sign transformers in parallel so that you can have a higher amperage, which in turn will give you a bigger arc. So you can have bigger streamers in your Tesla coil if you're powering Tesla coil with them, or bigger stick up ladder, or whatever you're doing. Um, it's more fun, but a quick disclaimer here these things are dangerous, though it's hard to kill yourself with one of these, it can be done because 20 milliamps is really all that's needed um, and these can supply much more than that so uh, be really careful when handling these things, only do it if you know what you're doing um, not responsible for what you do or cause so just be careful play safe but have fun so uh, let's get on with it so, Right here is a pretty good example I'll be showing you because these are actually two different brands and of different amperages. Though your voltage has to be the same or you will burn out one of the RNSTs probably. It won't be good if they're the different voltages. So make sure they're the same voltages. In my case, they're both 5,000 volts. This one's a 30 milliamp and this one's a 60 milliamp. Now, um, I'm going to be using these to power my Tesla coil. Um, it's not the optimal power source, but it's not that bad either. So, uh, you need to go and connect up your wires. So, right here, all the hot wires are together, all the neutral wires are together, and all the grounds are together. And you have to use a good AC ground for this, or bad things will happen to your transformer, because they're center tapped so that they their insulation can be for a lower voltage. Okay, let me plug it in to my variac. Uh, actually, not quite yet. Uh, now I'll plug it in. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done. So, I've connected up my chicken stick to one of the terminals. And do not connect up multiple terminals together until you've tested um, it, because if you hook it up wrong, you'll burn out your NSTs and you'll be crying. So crank it up and you can hear the hum and now we'll see which ones are in phase and which are out of phase so if we arc over to here we see that there's an arc between here that's 5000 volts potential so we're not over volting anything but that's not good or it's good but this is not what we're looking for we're looking for it to be in phase so if we come over here we see that there's nothing or th actually there's a tiny tiny spark but there's basically nothing between these two, and so this is in phase, this is out of phase, this is in phase, so we can shut it off, and here, let me unplug it, always has a f have a physical break in your connection before you handle these things, so now we know we can take a clip lead and connect this terminal and we know that it's in phase with this one because there is no spark so we can connect it onto there so these two are connected together and then now that means these two are in phase also so if we go down here and actually I'm going to use these other clip leads because those can't reach down that far so like that help if I actually clipped it on the spring. Sorry, uh, there. And then we'll clip it onto here. So now these two sides are connected up in phase also. And I'm going to prop this uh, clip lead up so it's not shorting it, touching against any metal. Um, which is grounded because that's robbing power. So, just like that, it's close enough. And then, um, let's stick this carbon electrode in there. Like that. So, our chicken stick is going to go right over here now so look this and this 
These are in, seri uh, in phase, so they're connected together. No spark between them. No spark between these two, so they're connected together. And now, if I have a wire on this one, and I arc this one, I get the power of both of them combined together. So, uh, let me plug the whole setup in. Okay. Crank it up on the variac, up to full power. And then now, we get an arc twice as big. Send a Corona. Ooh, it's bright up there in the carbon. Up there. Right here, you see a nice orange dark because the carbon. Up here, it's white because there's stuff in the carbon electrode up there. And then up here, the metal, the metal. It's just a nice regular old white arc. So, now we're going to go and unplug for safety. So, hopefully this has showed you how to hook up neon sign transformers in uh, properly in phase. You can also use, I, I recommend using wire that's rated for the proper voltage so it won't be leaking out the power against any metal it touches to. It's also safer that way. Um, and also use shorter lengths so that you don't have a bunch of wires running everywhere like this. So, um, hopefully you found this video helpful. I couldn't really find any others that were very short on YouTube that explain this. So, um, if you still have any questions, um, leave them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them. So, thanks for watching and bye.